Raheem, what a night. You've looked around Wembley, you've celebrated with the fans. Well, just sum up England's victory. Yeah, it's a top performance today. We had to dig in deep. It's the first time we've conceded in a tournament, and I thought we, we regrouped well um, and showed a good team spirit to come back and win the game. Did you feel from an hour onwards only one team was really trying to win it? As I said, we knew it was difficult going behind, then we got the equaliser, and we knew we just had to you know, stay patient. Um, we knew with the legs we have in the team, the aggressiveness, the power, we knew it would just be a matter of time before we break them down and we got the penalty in the end. Was it a generous penalty award or did you feel it was a definite penalty? Yeah, I went into the box and he, he stuck his right leg out and I um, it touched my legs, so it's a, a clear penalty. And Harry Kane's penalty, is that the best one-two you've seen? Oh, as, as long as it goes in the back of the net. That's all that matters. If it's uh, keeper saves it and rebounds it, them all day. And what about now? You, you know how long it's been that England haven't won a semi-final. To get over this step now for this team and for English football, what does tonight mean? Yeah, it's uh, another step in, step in the right direction. Once we walk back in the dressing room, that's it over. We've got to focus on to the, the weekend now. It's step by step and, and that's what we can do. And how do you say, how do you sum up the part the fans have played in all this tonight? Yeah, as I said, you know what football means to this country. Um, and you can see by the numbers they, they, they came out in tonight and the energy, the atmosphere, cheering, people shirts off. So it, it's, it's top. Now for Italy. Yeah, now for Italy. Go back in, uh, celebrate a little bit. And then from tomorrow onwards, it's, it's focusing on Italy. Well played. Cheers. Thank you. But what's that Paul Gascoigne behind David Beckham? I think it might have been. It was, yeah. celebrating like mad. <laughs> Obviously amazing to see him and oh, he'll, have had a, he'll have a great night tonight, I'm sure. Absolutely. Let's have a look at the penalty decision then, Roy. What's your verdict on the awarding of the penalty for England? Well, I don't think it's a penalty. Obviously, we've looked back. Um, it was unlikely when they went to Verda they were going to see it was a clear and obvious mistake. But Sterling got stronger as the game went on. And when you've got people who can go past people, it just opens the game. And I think very, very soft. Arguably, Gary, actually it was more of a penalty not given on Harry Kane down below us, which VAR had a look at, which didn't give. Yeah, look, if we're being fair, and obviously at this point in the show we are going to be, you'd be absolutely devastated to lose to a penalty like that. It's so soft, but they have been consistent in this tournament in being very, I suppose in some ways, reluctant to overturn these types of decisions. People can say they're soft, but we've been seeing those, those have been given all season the little clip little touch you know you heard what Reem said they felt like he got he got touched he, he went down right, you're going to defend him anyway no matter what it's, it's, not, it's not a case I of know, defending know, him anyway you know, you know how it is Roy the fact is, is that if, we, if we weren't seeing these all season and you could say well yeah of course it's soft but that, those have been given all season as I said to you I thought the one down below us on Kane was more I of a penalty well. probably than that one yeah. I said to Roy when he stood up to take it I said if, if he were playing for Tottenham I'd write down now 2-1 right. I think it underlines just the tenseness of the situation that Harry Kane who is as good a penalty taker I'm sure you would say you've ever seen mm. takes by his standards a fairly average penalty Sa saying that I, I think that Castro Schmeichel in his performance that would, that would have been in his head at that stage and, and, and the time he was taking the penalty the pressure that come with him taking that penalty the fact is, he, he, he took, it was a poor penalty, but then he was alive enough to go and get the rebound, and that's, that's all that matters. I mean, Casper's had such an incredible evening, he'll just be a little bit disappointed. Ordinarily, I think because it was so soft towards him, he tries to probably try and catch it and yeah. hold it in there, yeah. and it means it just goes back into the middle of the goal. If he parries it wide, I'd say it was such a soft penalty he'd, that he tried to catch it. Yeah, he'd be disappointed, Casper. He was Not so, to push it wide. Yeah, or just to even get hold of it. It, yeah. was, it was a side, you know, a side foot from uh, Kane. No, I think because his performance was so brilliant, he probably feels he should have saved it. Do you Kane took it with his body shape? He slightly telegraphed. That's where he was going to put it. To yeah, but it yeah, but we've seen him do that. He's got the capability of really whipping that higher. You know, giving um, you know a little bit more towards uh, the side netting. But I think that with everything that was that, that was in the game and. and, and the pressure of the time when the penalty came, it was, I, there's no one else I'd want to take that penalty. But yes, you'd, you'd expect him to take a better penalty, then, but it's still gone in. The last 15 minutes of normal time and the first 15 minutes of the second, uh, sorry, the, the extra time, and obviously the last 15 minutes, they had 10 men. We were stronger, we actually grew in the game and we didn't make all our substitutions as well. So our players seemed like they were sort of feeling it. The composure kicked in. They were really frantic in the first half an hour of that match tonight, our lads. And we were emotional before the game in terms of the crowd. And I'm not surprised that they got carried away. But they really did settle themselves down as the yeah. game went on and grew and grew. And they got more mature in the game. 
Look, they've got a massive game on Sunday, but that was a good performance tonight because it was tough. They got stronger and stronger, no doubt about that. England into the final on Sunday to play Italy. They've won by two goals to one. There's definitely some tension here at Wembley this evening. And Roy, if any England fan at home thought, oh, it'll be easy enough. They won't be thinking that now. This is going to be a very tough match to win. Absolutely not. Denmark certainly haven't come here to park the bus. England started well, good first five minutes. Maybe then got a little bit sloppy. We saw Sterling miscontrol it. Rice not really getting on the half turn. Pickford being sloppy. I thought the goal was coming. Denmark then obviously dominated the game. But England, we asked about how would they deal with any sort of setback. They've dealt with it very, very well, and they finished the half strongly. But the first half has flown by, sign of a good game, and it's proper game on. It's proper game on, Gary. It's a very well-struck free kick, but should Jordan Pickford have done better? Yeah, most definitely. Uh, I think we feared the worst when it was basically being lined up. As say, Roy just said, the goal was coming. Denmark were getting through us far too easily. Our back four were getting pulled apart. It's a long way out, and I always think that if the ball goes in the corner, then you've no problem, but the, goal, the ball goes in the centre of the net. And your goalkeeper's got to save that. And his big problem is that ultimately he's blocked and he doesn't see it till late. And then all of a sudden he goes late himself. He's but he's got to get himself in the position whereby he can go early. Like I say, it's right above him almost. And he'll be really disappointed. But on the wider game, we've been so frantic. Not just in possession in the final third, but actually our fullbacks. They've got to make sure that they attach to our centre backs. Luke and Kyler looking to go out far too early to engage with their wing backs. It's leaving Harry Maguire and Stones at times space to cover in those channels. They've got to be patient in the defending. You know what, Gar? I know what you're saying about where it's gone in the goal, but I think that that third, that that wall, and the, and the strike. Damsgaard's got to get a lot of um, praise for the way he's hit that ball. Jordan Pickford sees that right at the death. I, I, honestly, I think that's very harsh, simply because I think that they they have targeted him. I think they've targeted Harry Maguire as well with Brathwaite. And I think that, that is, you've got to give credit to Damsgaard for that free kick. Even so, England actually could be in front because yes, we'll see the yes. miss followed by the goal. The Sterling miss, you're thinking of the form he is in. How has he missed this? I think sometimes you can get so close, you just think that you just need to connect. Um, because when you look at um, Schmeichel here, He's literally, he's just, he's just a body. He's just there. He's what the goalkeepers do when they're practicing. They get themselves, they get them bigger as they can. You could look at that. Raheem will probably think that all he needs to do is connect with that and it goes in. But you have to give the goalie credit for being in the right place. But then again, you know, 48 seconds later, bam. You know, we get it and, you know, it feels, well, it feels like a better place. <laughs> I, I'm wondering, Roy, whether this is the game, as we just see the replay against Saka setting up. It's an own goal from Kier in the end. Is this sort of game maybe where the substitutions are going to be Absolutely. critical? Yeah, of course. And the game will be about moments. We saw there Kane again. We've seen him doing that for Spurs all the time. Brilliant piece of play. But players off the bench will have a huge influence. We could say that for every big game. Obviously, Riley just showing a little bit of emotion. A little bit of passion. <laughs> Subs critical, you know, if you're a Grealish, if you're phoning your Sancho, you could have a big part to play in this Look, game. Just not yet. Keep our back four tight together and feed Harry Kane. Harry Kane is the only striker that's really showed a lot of composure and get Saka and Sterling running off him. Yeah. Those two chances that we've created are through playing the ball into Kane. We've got to get it into his feet. Perfect. Perfect. You'd agree with that? Absolutely. Absolutely bang on with that. Final, would your message be from Gareth Southgate? Settle down, everybody. 100%. Stay calm, stay focused. He's got great options off the bench. Keep their heads. I know. I know it's great to try and close people down. Just keep their heads. Just calm down. I have to say that last five minutes after we scored was actually the template for how we move forward. Sometimes a goal can make you more frantic because you think you're going to get a second. But actually, we put some passes together. We started to look a little bit more relaxed, and that's what they've got to do in this second half. They can't be as frantic as they were in the first half. There was a little worry where Harry Maguire and John Stones were getting dragged forward, and then Damsgaard broke in a couple of times. Carl Walker had to save us. I just hope that somebody can make sure that they're keeping an eye on this damn scar because he's really frightening me.